we're supposed to integrate this function x cubed plus 1 to the power of 4 multiplied by x squared. Now, how would you determine which technique you're going to use? Well, you see that x cubed plus 1 is a function and all of that to the power of 4 is another function. So it's a function of a function. That suggests that you're going to use um, substitution. Now what about the x square? Well, you hope that when you differentiate x cubed plus 1, you're going to get something that will cancel out the x square. You can see if you differentiate x cubed, you're going to get 2x square. So, possibly, this x square will cancel out this x square here. So, let's go ahead and see what will happen. Now, we're going to make u be equal to x cubed plus 1 all right so this will be u to the 4 now the u by the x would be 3x squared what you have out here is dx so if you make dx the subject the x is equal to the u over 3x squared, all right? So at some point, you see that dx is dx, but you're going to remove this dx and replace it with the u over 3x squared. So what you have is the integral of u to the fourth times x squared dx but you will write the u over three x squared in, instead so it's the u over three x squared see that now you can see that x squared over x squared is one so they cancel so what you have is integral of d of u to the 4 du over 3. Same thing as the integral of u to the 4 du times 1 third. We can write 1 third behind the integral sign. Now the integral of u to the 4 du. Alright? So, what you have now is one third times u to the 5 over 5 plus c. You see that? Same thing now as 1 over 3, 5, 15 u to the 5 plus c. But now, you need to rewrite things in terms of x. u was x cubed plus 1. So what you have is, all of this is equal to 1 over 15 uh, x cubed plus 1 to the power of 5 plus c. And that is your answer.